With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The convex lens of radius of curvature 20 cm and 30 cm respectively. It is silvered at a surface which has a smaller radius of curvature. Then it will behave as. So the refractive index of the glass they have given it as 1.5. Now, a convex lens, when it is having a radius of curvature 20 and 30 cm, let us first find out the focal length of that lens. Okay, So, to find the focal length of the lens, uh, uh, by using the lens maker's formula, since we are finding it for a lens, we will call it as FL. So, FL is equal to N minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. So, R1 and R2 are given. See, R1 we will take it as 20 cm and R2 we will take it as minus 30 centimeter. Okay, applying sign convention it will be minus 30 centimeter. Now uh, N is given to be NG or N. Here also we shall write it as NG. So NG is given to be 1.5. Now substituting all the values over here you get 1 by FL is equal to 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by 20 minus of minus becomes plus 1 by 30. So when you simplify this out, uh, FL will be equal to 120 over 5, which is equal to 24 centimeter. So the focal length of the lens comes out to be 24 centimeter now. Now uh, if it is silvered, no, see it is silvered at the surface which has a smaller radius of curvature. So this first surface will be silvered. So it acts like a mirror. When it acts like a mirror, no, you have to find the focal length of the mirror for that. So we will find the focal length of mirror now. So when it is silvered, one part acts like a mirror. So focal length of mirror will be, see focal length of mirror is always half of the radius of curvature. So, the smaller radius of curvature means how much it is? It is 20 centimeter, right? So, it is, we will take it as minus 20 because one side is silvered, no? So, the other side becomes minus 20 divided by 2 which becomes minus 10 centimeter. So, focal length of the mirror comes out to be minus 10 centimeter. Now, this combination acts like or it behaves like they are asking. So, we shall find the combination of these two focal lengths. So, the combination focal length, if we are writing it as... Uh, 1 by or f equivalent when you are taking it 1 by f equivalent is 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 here f1 is lens and f2 is uh, mirror so we'll write it as um, it is like 1 by f1 for the first fl plus 1 by fm plus the other surface one more lens you will have no so that will be 1 by fl so, a uh, combination of these two, you will get it as uh, minus 1 by FL, minus 1 by FL here also because it is uh, according to the sign convention, you will get both as minus. So, it becomes, this becomes minus 2 by FL plus 1 by FM. So, this gives you the focal length, equivalent focal length and substituting for FL and FM, see FL is uh, how much FL we have got it as 24 and FM is minus 10. Substituting over here, you will get it as F equivalent will be equal to minus 2 by 24 plus 1 by 10 or 1 by minus 10 you will get. So F equivalent comes out to be minus 60 by 11 centimeter. So the combination focal length you will get like this which means that when you see to this focal length value you can say that you have a minus sign over here no so when since it has a minus sign it behaves like a concave lens and the concave lens will be having a focal length of minus 60 by 11 centimeter. Now see to the choices you should have a concave lens it should behave like a concave lens with equivalent focal length of minus 60 by 11 so concave oh sorry concave mirror right we are finding out for a mirror so sorry this will be a mirror because when it is one side is silvered no so when one side is silvered it will always behave like a mirror so the combination behaves like a concave mirror of minus 60 by 11 so concave mirror with minus 60 by 11 centimeter so option 2 will be the right answer for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.